Hey everyone, Christian here, and this is a little better view than the, unfortunately the Dipsis video was a little bit uh, cramped up, but this is um, Ravinia sambirinensis, and this is a palm that is also native to Madagascar, as are all Ravinias. Um, you might know Ravinia, the species, I'm sorry, the genus from uh, Ravinia uh, rivularis, which is the majesty palm, the common palm you can find at Home Depot. And um, honestly, this palm is not, uh, this palm is visually very different, but genetically it's really not that different and it's not that much it's not like hard to acquire or anything you know you just kind of need to find the seeds and you can grow it but it does take some patience this is definitely in a much older plant it's probably about uh 10 or 12 10 to 12 years old um and you can see it has these massive leaves that pinnate leaves that grow way out uh and kind of up in like a volcanic uh sort of shape and um it's uh it's quite beautiful i think it's a uh, very under under uh, represented palm in the uh, palm world and so it, it grows uh kind of throughout i believe north central madagascar i could be i'm sorry south central madagascar uh through the mountainous areas there kind of i have to look exactly where sambirinensis is native to i think there's sam sambira sam sambirin is an area in madagascar so it kind of has this white uh back on the petiole here the rachis and uh, that's pretty typical for Sambirinensis. Um, and it has a massive heel to it. Now, I mentioned the heel in the Dipsis video. You can see that heel is about... It's about twice as big as this phone. Um, and that is very important to keep that heel up and out of the uh, soil. So, uh, Ravinias are all known for their large heels. Ravinias are an in interesting genus because they're native... I mean, sorry, they're related to... Um, their closest relation, I believe, is uh, Pseudo Phoenix, which is, you know, native to Florida and the Caribbean. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm... I'm not entirely sure. I want to say that that's their closest relation. However, they don't really, they are not really related to any of the other palms that they grow near or around. So it's kind of an interesting uh, situation where they kind of just, uh, just evolved into Madagascar and they're only... They're endemic to Madagascar. So they also have all sorts of... Um, Ravinias come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. You have uh, really tiny ones. You have Ravinia hildebrantii, which is a dwarf that kind of like gets a few feet tall or a few feet of trunk. Then you have um, Ravinia xerophylla, which just means uh, dry loving, and that kind of grows. It looks like a big green, a big blue carrot. And then you have Ravinia musicalis, which grows in rivers, as does a couple other species like Rivularis. And uh, then you have kind of in between these 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 giants. This is Sambirinensis. You also Ravinia julietii, Ravinia, uh, there's, there's a bunch of unknown species that kind of just, uh, I, I'm sorry, not unknown, unnamed species, they're, they're known, just not named yet, uh, that kind of have, they're still around, they have yet to, you know, to kind of be described by a botanist, but they're, they kind of have, they're, they're very nice, they're not, they're not cold sensitive, they're not really a pain to grow, they're really, they're quite easy, uh, as long as you just kind of give them a decent amount of water. They grow quite just like your average palm. They give it an average amount of water. Uh, give it, you know, it likes filtered uh, sun until it gets older, and then it'll it'll grow into the sun. In Florida, they tend to they tend to prefer some shade. But if you the best looking Ravinias I've seen in Florida, uh, the you know Majesties Ravinia rivularis actually are growing in full sun and and sitting in swampy water. So that gives you any kind of idea. This. Most of them will probably be similar to that, except for the Xerophylla, which is a more, it grows more like a, a cactus than it does a palm. So, um, seeds of this plant are, are going to be relatively small, kind of uh, oval, uh, kind of like the size of a pea, I guess. And they do like to, they do like quite a bit of water for germination. So, you want to give above average, maybe the media can be a little bit uh, heavier mix. You don't have to make it so well draining. And uh, plenty of water and uh, heat, and that, and that will that will do it. It's definitely it, these uh, dipsis and ravinias are more popular on the west coast of uh, the U.S. because of their. The, this is a more of a zone nine B. It can handle some frost. So can the so can most dipsis. Um, at least the big ones can. And so they they kind of do well uh, as a tropical alternative to say some other palms that may look like this, like for example a coconut or an atalea. So. Anyway, I'm losing my voice here uh, through talking, unfortunately. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it here. If you guys have any more questions about Ravinia, especially Sam Biarnensis, go ahead and leave it down below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you found this video enjoyable, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.